Hi guys, my name is Alexo Avrenin. Welcome to YouTube channel Senior QA Automation Engineer. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Today I tell you how to use Selenium for mobile testing. You can use Chrome emulators in Selenium and combine everything in your test. And now I want to show you how to do so. In this case you can cover mobile web version of an, an application free. We have already three browsers in base UI class. I need to add new Chrome driver with specific mobile options. For that I create hash map with two strings, give them names and mark them mobile. After I put device name into key and name of mobile device into value. How to find out the correct name of device? Very simple. I just open Chrome after pushed F12 and open Dev Tools. Select mobile plugin. Open a list of devices. The list has specific names. I just use same names. After I initialize new Chrome options. After I select set experimental options in the list of Chrome options. It requires string and object. String is mobile emulation, object is our mobile hash map. After I just copy same path for Chrome settings as for web. And add new Chrome options in new Chrome driver. In my testng XML, I command web browsers and change one to mobile browser. Change the name to iPhone test for better readability of our output and reports. Change the value to mobile. It manages our browsers start running mobile test. It works as expected, it's open mobile optimization and use mobile emulator. But still test have failed. Element not visible exception in console. It means Selenium doesn't see some element. I command driver quit and check page where test is failed. In this case I can see what's happened there. I should check a locator tab why it's not visible. I try to find elements and use index 1 from this element because it's not unique on a web page. Second web element with same locator is hidden. That is why it's failed. After mobile optimization, menu is displayed and it hides our second element with index 1. It explains why test is failed in mobile mode. It can be resolved if I click mobile hamburger in my test I, and I take locator of, for this element.
after I come back to my test classes and add variable by for this mobile web element. I want to use click of this element only when I use mobile version of Chrome. For that, I should know value parameter from our testng XML. I can use itext context for that. It helps me to take current parameter and use it in test. I use get current XML, get parameter, and specify value of parameter browser. After I add this value in new string variable and use it in test. More correct to use value mobile Chrome because we use parameter browser. In this case, we can give more info for our test. I create condition in test that if my parameter browser contains mobile Chrome, I should click hamburger menu. If not, I skip this step. But if I write this condition inside test, it duplicates in each test. It's not good solution. I move this condition in methods in main class and can use it in any part of framework. I add this methods in each test and give this methods context value from input parameter in for each test. I start running mobile test. Test the text that value of browser is mobile and click mobile menu. Same for second test. Okay, all mobile tests are passed. And now we know how to use Selenium for mobile testing.